of the family class this is going to be. I've changed my speech God knows how many times. If just to ensure the minutest fraction of Elyosha's strength and courage to go through this without You have two uh, options right of you. Either you vegetate or you decide to do And uh, I would say that me and my wife took the latter option. And we decided that uh, we will turn this tragedy into uh, an opportunity of projecting this wonderful boy who lived a very short life but lived it fully and they lived it. He, he, he in many ways uh, uh, reflects the qualities which Alyosha had. A fighter he is and changing the way the general speaks. Yes. Yes. I must thank uh, uh, my secretary in office, uh, Praveena Malakishan, she is not here, who actually typed the whole script. Uh, the support that my wife gave and my sibling, my elder brother and sisters are here. In fact, the entire family is here. Uh, the support that they gave Joseph for uh, persevering with me and my laziness, and but finally they have done it. And Shika for uh, really unstinted uh, support and just uh, she changed a lot of text which I think because when you write as a parent you uh, write a lot of things which may be applicable or not but often as parents we are blinded by affection and we don't see our uh, children the way they ought to be seen the peers and the friends know them the best and uh, also Satyajit and another roommate of Ayosha Arun Sri Kumar so they didn't actively uh, assist in writing the book, but they were always in the back of my mind uh, with their unstinted support because I knew that I had their uh, moral support. So that's how the book came about. And I uh, thank all those who actively or passively helped me and contributed in bringing this into a reality. Thank you. Wide open smile that always feels like a warm heart. Thank you for understanding for sharing him with us. He is perhaps the most special person that I have ever met and ever will meet. I knew him first as the person that introduced us, but slowly we built our own equation. Talking about everything, books, relationship, faith, the book, the sacred and the profane, his philosophy and feeling. I reread a few of his emails from 2004 and 2006 and they often made me teary at his wisdom, but they always made me laugh and I really wish that I had. Uh, we both shared a love for Delhi, which he called his winter town. I remember walking with him once we they were sweet and precious moments, innocent and tender, and even sweeter in retrospect. I also loved how Alyosha used language. He was fun. And he says that please a copy a copy of the book for me too. Thank you. roommate for um, four and a half, five years of, <coughs> of that time and uh, uh, he had a, a deep impact on my life. His passing had a, had a dramatic and deep impact on my life and it took me a long time to, to deal with it in its course and I remember speaking with Sir Nam a great deal of those years. Um, so I can imagine where this book is coming from and a lot of the stories, I've just been looking through it now and uh, uh, are familiar to me. Uh, but uh, I, I mean, I think of Alyosha now also, e even now I think of him often. Um, and uh, over time, I guess what, what you remember is less clear, uh, you know, in terms of chronological, concept of events or, or things, um, but you kind of remember, um, I think, uh, maybe a spirit of a person or, or, or what you could sense from someone. And uh, I remember Alyosha being uh, uh, just a very passionate and certain spirit. And, uh, you, you know, sometimes I find myself asking whether when I'm asked whether something is right or wrong, 
whether academically or morally or whatever, I, I find myself looking for cues. I don't remember him ever having to look for a cue about that. Um, equally, I remember him being a very mischievous, irreverent, troublesome uh, guy. And it was great because, you know, if there's one thing we need, uh, perhaps it's, it's more people to ask troublesome questions. We, you know, I don't think we have enough. And exactly, <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I've often thought that, you know, that, that spirit of, uh, of, of questing, questioning disobedience is ultimately the, the most valuable thing I learned from, from Anusha and Muslims. clearly to me that uh, it was someone very special. Uh, when I entered, I read uh, the will that he wrote at the age of nine. Uh, to have empathy and a sense of giving so great at the age of nine is only something that can come to a very special and a very evolved human being. What also comes to me clearly when I listen about him is that he wore his greatness very lightly on his shoulders. And uh, as I heard the narratives of his friends talking about his impish cheerfulness, I've, uh, somehow you connect the dots and you find that people who are genuinely deep and knowledgeable are also the most uh, simple, affectionate and cheerful. I really wish I knew it because there's so much to learn. I am also taken aback and overwhelmed at uh, what Deepa said to me when I entered. We all seek in life some uh, higher meaning to our work and our life. I wonder how these incidents happen in our country. I wonder how people lose their lives like this. And if I may be allowed a transgression from the theme, it is because there is a lack of fear. There is a lack of fear of the law. And there is a feeling that you can get away with things. I don't believe in this whole business of seeking revenge. And I'm sure with the grace that I see of the parents and the family, neither do you. But I have asked myself in my profession, the whys and wherefores 
of why so much injustice happens and why we have to bear it with so much fortitude. Fortitude comes naturally to those who are brave. And so when you speak about the Brave New World Foundation, I know the spirit with which you are naming it the Brave New World Foundation. You are showing fortitude and you are saying there's a never give up spirit in you. But that must not stop us from questioning. That must not stop us from campaigning and, and acting and questioning and confronting. Because we can't take it lying down anymore. I heard that Alyosha would ask a lot of questions. It makes me feel even more terrible about not meeting him. At least uh, he was a kindred spirit. Uh, he would be like a nice younger brother to me. Maybe he would uh, ask me some questions back. But, uh, but I can read and see and feel his attitude. And I personally feel a sense of loss. That's such a wonderful, evolved, and special and spiritual human being was taken away from us. And uh, Prabhaji, I know the emotion that you hope will die. But sometimes you feel emotion without meeting them. That's what I feel today. And uh, I will in my way. I'm promising you today. We're starting a new organization, a new media. We will actively work with you. And I... I uh, don't make false promises. When I go back, I will institutionalize this. And so while we fight for, uh, for what is wrong, we also will work to repair the injustice that has been done to this wonderful family. But most importantly today, I am uh, I'm taken aback with the love I am receiving. I don't know why Arun and Deepa you called me. What you in, in, in 12 years I have lived in a studio. In the last three months I started going out. And I know that people hug you and hold your hand. They say nice things, but what Deepa has said to me today gives me open confidence. I will, in my way, work with you and I will read this book cover to cover. I will remain connected to you, to the Brave New World Foundation, and with you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you.